Hey, how's it going today? Today, I want to talk to you about ramp tables and how you can link geometry points, pulling elevation data in, pulling station offset data in. Pretty slick. All right, let's check it out. The first thing I want you to see is how these are set up. So each line has a foot notation on it, as well as a slope. And then there are these number callouts, 1, 10, 2, 11, at vertices. And those correspond with the table here. For example, 1 correlates with 1 plus 40, offset of 0, elevation to 11. So that's basically what we want to create with smart data and open roads. So now I'm in open roads. And what I'm going to do, I have built one here. Each one of these is a geometry point, which it has a specific feature definition set up but it links to an alignment, pulling station and offset information. And then it also can be linked to either alignment or feature line and pull elevation from that, or it can pull elevation data from a surface. Click on this point and I move it. Now I click on my table and I hit refresh table. That point has a different elevation and different station and offset. That'd be a little bit easier if I labeled these. So I'm gonna do that really quickly here. Click on this, highlight all my points. And I'm gonna do my civil labeler, pick the correct style place it. Now I can label all these points. Now this civil labeler is pulling data from each point. So this is points with the feature name of one. This is feature name of three. If I change the name of this to 150, now I could click on my table, refresh, and it's set up to sort it by the point number. So now it has two, three, four, five, all the way up to 115 is station 3.4 and offset 16.35. And these are all linked to alignment P gutter. What if I change something? What's going to happen? So I showed you before moving it. Let me show you again. I want to do a couple of things here. I'm going to click on this point. I'm going to move the point back to where I had it before. On my table. Refresh table. So now 115 is at station 4.48. Left offset. Now say I want to change this to different station offset. Go up here to modify. Star station. I'll make this start point 10 plus 0, 0. That looks good. And now my table. Click on this, refresh table. And now these are all 10 plus pulling the correct station offset. What if I wanted to change the actual alignment that the data is pulling from? I'm going to pull from the center line alignment with the name of AL. I'm going to come in here and highlight all my points in my information, my properties. I'm going to scroll down, pulling from 3D and the 2D points. So I'm going to click on cells here, change this reference alignment to AL.CL. And now I'm going to refresh table. And you can see it's pulling in the station offset now from this line, which has the name of CO. Pretty powerful that you can do this. All right, so how would I create this? Let me delete all these points and I will I'm gonna start over. Okay, so what I'm going to do to create these points, I'm going to click on geometry point. It's asking me for a reference alignment. This is going to update every time. So if I have P underscore gut two, changes to P underscore gut two. I'm going to select the reference terrain. Now I'm going to enter an offset, which would be zero. And a data point where that geometry point is going to go. Pick one there and see again, it resets a P underscore gut. So you're not really going to want to mess around with that too much there. It'll be a lot of work. Pick some here. Pretend like I have a back of curve here. Just drop in. And every single point I drop in is going to incrementally increase. So this one, point 10 with the name 10. This one is going to be point 11. If I decide to delete 10 for some reason, and now I'll come in and drop in. The next one that comes in is going to be 10. Smart enough to know. All right, so showed you before, but I'll show you again. I'm going to click on all these, highlight them all. And I'm going to do my civil labeler, geometry points. All this is pulling in is the feature name. And do however you want, dropping all, all into once is very efficient, effective. Highly recommend doing that. And then I would also recommend highlighting all of them. This is where I'm going to drop in my table under drawing production, place table. And it's under reports. I've made a report called ODOT ramp table report. And see one of them has a P underscore gut two, which means that it's not going to, it's not going to know where to pull that data from. So let me find that point zero under my open roads model. I zoom to it at that point. And this one is the point zero. It has the wrong underscore. I'm just going to P that underscore gut. And now you can see it's pulling in the station offset. I also don't really like that name. So I was going to change it to P. And then as I come in and click on my table, I can refresh the table. So now I have a 15 in there. I probably want this really to be at 12. Refresh it again. Okay, so how does this all work? How did I build this? Well, we're not that simple, unfortunately. 
But basically how it works is each one of these geometry points has a feature definition, which is pulling in an item type. So I only have one item type in this file, pulling on one that says name, station offset, and elevation. So let's go look at that first. So you can see this is where my default value comes in at the underscore gut. It's text type. This is basically my reference alignment. It's just text uh, got to be pulled in from these other ones. Station and offset are going to pull in with a quite a complicated formula. This expression builder is not the simplest thing in the world to understand. So you can see it's pulling in station data, offset data, and then elevation and feature name are pulled separately. This dot get element feature name and then elevation is being pulled under geometry point, point elevation. So there's different ways to pull stuff in, but this is built in my DGN lot lib, and then it's linked to each time I drop in that point. The next thing you'd have to do is under your reports. And this is where I created that ODOT ramp report people. I have this object in here, which I'm basically telling it to pull in same item type. And then within that item type, I'm able to pull in the point alignment name, station, offset, and elevation. I have a sorting rule set to sort by point. It automatically do that for you. So hopefully this makes sense. I think this is a really powerful tool to be able to not show these elevations on your plan. It's essentially what it's allowing you to do. Elevation will be showed separately and the station offset will be showed in our table and you can create something that looks like this. It should be dynamic to do it. I hope that all made I hope that all made sense and good luck with making a linked table to geometry points with item types. Have a great day. Thanks.